Oh my God, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Yeah. Yeah, well, if they're late, I'm gonna slit their throats. Yeah, no, I have a really good feeling about this. It's gonna be really good. Thank you for coming. So let's go over the rules. Rule number one, when I die, please, please, please only film me from my left, left side. Yeah. It's your left yeah. side. You got it. All right, you got it, you got it, okay. Rule number two, if you're gonna be using social media, which you absolutely should be, please refer to me as your best friend. Like not one of my friends died, like my best friend passed away and I can't go on. You know, it has a little more impact that way. Yeah, Cora. What if we already have a best friend? I'm not understanding. Oh, I mean, I just already kind of have a best friend and I feel like she wouldn't appreciate it. Ooh. Who is this for person? A while. <laughs> Walk um, closer. I okay, mean, just block her from your story that day. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Leland, I outlined all of this in the email, okay? My therapist has discovered that I have a deep fear of death. It's limiting my potential as a person. In Western society, we don't talk about it. You know, we don't think about death. And frankly, it's unhealthy. So this is the best way for me to confront my mortality and live my best life moving forward, okay? You want that for me, right? I do. Great. 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 All right. Let's go. I am so sorry I'm late. Oh my God. Mumble. Great. You know your part, right? Memorized. I'm so excited. I mean, this is such a good idea. I need to do this for myself. Um, who is that? Oh, I'm Mumbles. I'm Paige's best friend. I'm sorry, but we've all known each other for, like, what, six years? Six nine, years? nine years. I lived with Paige for four of those years. Exactly, six to nine years, and you've never once mentioned this person. I mentioned Mumbles. I mention Mumbles all the time. Mm-hmm. No, that's... Nope. I remember I've that I've never moment. heard you mention Mumbles. Well, she's never mentioned any of you either. I literally talk about Mumbles all the time. I'm constantly talking about Mumbles. We met at archery class. Ar when did you take archery? <laughs> when, have I, when have I not done archery? Okay, this is silly. Let's just get started. Get in your places. You ready? All right. Dear friends, we are gathered here today to mourn the passing of our dearest most beautiful, stunning, powerful, electric, elite, the voice of the queer community, intelligent and magnetic friend, Paige Plumpkin. A star that shines so brightly people depended on her light. Ah. We will never, we will, <clears throat> we will, we will never be the same without her. The world will never be the same without her. <clears throat> um, so <clears throat> it, says, it says here that I should list your achievements, but I, I, just, I just don't really. List my achievements. She. Tears Leland, cry. Right. Sorry, I have to take this. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? Nothing. Really? Yeah, I'm throwing. just. I'm just laying here. I know that you're throwing a fake funeral, and you didn't invite me. Yeah, I didn't invite you. You didn't invite me to that Givenchy party last year. That was three years ago, and you know I was trying to get with that dude. I don't care. I didn't invite you because you would have made this whole thing about yourself. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I just said, okay? I'm okay. hanging up. Don't I'm hanging up. I'm hanging I'm, up. I'm on my way. You can't Don't come. come. Don't come. Hanging up. Please continue. All right, well, 
I was two when my grandma died, and uh, nine when I saw the Titanic. And I don't think anything in the world could prepare me for this, and how it's making me feel, and all the bad things I did to that guy that one time. Oh my God, why would you take our beautiful page from us, from the world? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, don't know how to follow that, but. So I'd uh, like to say a few words about our friend Paige. Um, when I first met Paige, I just moved to Los Angeles. I didn't really have any friends. But Paige took me under her wing. She supported me in my journey to find myself. Uh, she would go on hikes with me and we'd listen to records. It was very nice. Uh, Leland and Cora were not so nice to me, but Paige was always very kind. Uh, she was the only one who would go with me to the Korean spa. Uh, she wasn't intimidated by my nude form. Mm. Gross. And for that, I'll forever be grateful. Thank you, Paige. We will miss you. Uh, okay, it says uh, it's press time now. Right, so this is when news outlets such as NBC, ABC, TLC, TMZ would come in and film and stuff. Right, okay. Okay, guys. Let's go. Guys, come on. Oh, um, what? Oh, with, with their tanks, their tanks and, and their bombs and their bombs and their guns in your head, in your head, they are fighting. What's in your head? In your head. Zombie, zombie, zombie. So good, Mumbles. All right, so this is when you guys would lower me into the ground, but we can't do that today, so you're just gonna come up and say your goodbyes, all right? Great. Make him count. Uh, mumbles, can you hit the music? Um, bye. I mean, bye, I love you, and you're beautiful. You were a good friend, Paige. I forgive you. For what? Mm -hmm. Okay, bye, sweetie. I love you too much. I'll see you at archery, okay? Page. I'll miss you. Definitely more than Leland and Cora. Close the lid. Hey, who? Me or? I mean... It's too heavy for me. <laughs> all of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll. Barbara? Barbara. 
So this is why you cost $200 an hour. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. It worked. You know what, just take me off the schedule. I'm good. No, I'm good.